So the immune system is obviously important to our brain. There's a strong connection between our immune system and our central nervous system. And when we are inflamed, our brain can become inflamed. And when we are stressed, our body can become inflamed and our immune system can get kicked up. So I won't go into the many, many varied ways that zinc helps support the immune system. But one of the ways that I can tell when someone is low in zinc is if they are getting a lot of infections and or if they have a hyperactive immune system. So they may be reacting to things indiscriminately. This could be many foods, exposures in their environment, stress, weather changes. So this might look like mast cell activation, which I've talked about before and I can link to in the newsletter. Either one of those, a vulnerability to infection or a vulnerability to a exaggerated immune response could point to a zinc deficiency. And in both of those cases, you know, optimizing zinc can be really important. So though when you read information about mast cell activation, you won't necessarily see zinc mentioned, I would say that it absolutely should be.